are ready to begin our show. I'm Mr. Jarabek, the proud principal here at Lloyd Road School. Uh, we've had a pleasure to listen to our uh, band concerts during the day. That was on Monday. And as you probably know, we actually split up into two different concerts, uh, just simply because of the sheer number of students. Uh, so you can see the stage here is filled. And then uh, we have a later performance at 745, and the stage is also filled. So we don't even have enough space uh, to do one concert, which is a great problem. Uh, we have almost a third of our entire fifth grade class that participates in the band. Uh, that's amazing. That's an amazing program. And that's, that's directly attributed to um, our uh, band directors, Mrs. Hughes and Mrs. Munson. So uh, before the concert begins, just want to say thank you to the two of you in advance for all the hard work. Turn it directly over and get started. Welcome to our spring concert and a performance of the Lloyd Road Fifth Grade Band. We began playing our instruments a year and a half ago, although some of the students on the stage did not start until this September. We started with just one or two notes and learned six notes by the time grade four ended. Last May, we played songs that were about eight measures or 30 seconds in length. Now our band is playing complete arrangements. We know that you will be very excited to hear our progress, but please wait to express your enthusiasm until after the music is over. A quiet audience allows each of you to hear the music we have worked very hard to prepare for this concert. Enjoy our performance. Folks, on that we started in grade five. It is a simple tune, four to four time, that includes a repeat sign. After mastering this folk song using only five notes, in this is only five notes. It can be played then as a round. This was the longest song we played from the beginning of fifth grade. Our original dogma will give you this opportunity to hear when we started this year.
powerful piece in the bold minor book. It has four sections of music that are layered and shared by the instruments throughout this song. This piece only uses seven pitches and has an eight note rhythm pattern that each section has to play. Here is Art of Castle.
as they play rhythms and pitches as the rest of the band follows them. Throughout the arrangement, you can hear different groups of instruments following or echoing each other. This piece also has a percussion feature in the middle. We hope you enjoy Follow the Leader. Sambo is a Brazilian music genre and dance style. 
with its roots in Africa. This piece will have a different sound than other pieces we are playing tonight. We were also introduced to some new percussion instruments. You will hear the maracas, claves, and floor tom, in addition to the traditional snare drum and bass drums. The snare drum is being played with the snares off to give a different sound as well. We hope you enjoy this live performance.
And as you can see, we also have a special thank you to both of you as well. I'd like to thank the PTO for all the work that they've done also helping uh, with this evening with the, with the flowers and everything else. So thank you to the PTO and thank you to the Good evening, everyone. We are just about ready to begin. Uh, before we start, uh, I just want to uh, just say that I had the pleasure of listening to both of our bands perform. I say both of them because we had an earlier performance, and now this is the later performance. And as you may know, uh, we've been very fortunate in this district and in this building uh, to have a very strong arts program. Uh, it's a great time of year. We just finished our chorus concerts, and now, of course, we're on to our band concerts. And so, by having such a great uh, emphasis in the arts, we have over a third of our entire fifth grade class participating in the band program. So um, I think that's a great attribute to our band directors, Mrs. Hughes and Mrs. Munson. So uh, before we start, I just want to say a special thank you. I have never been somewhere, and keep in mind this is just a fifth grade sort of program for the band performance. We do have fourth graders practicing, but then that culminates in the fifth grade performance at the end of their fifth grade year. And, and I've never been in a place that had over a third of the population uh, participating in the band, so that is fantastic. I had a pleasure of listening to all of you on Monday during the day, and I'm going to have another pleasure this evening, and I know you will too, uh, just in a few minutes. And we'll pass it on to our student announcers, who will help you through the performance tonight. Welcome to our spring concert and the performance of the Lloyd Road 5th grade band. 
We began playing our instruments a year and a half ago, although some of the students on the stage did not start until this September. We started with, we started with just one or two notes and learned six notes by the time grade four ended. Last May, we learned songs that were about eight measures with 30 seconds in length. Now our band is playing complete arrangements. We know that you will be very excited to hear our progress, but please wait to express your enthusiasm until <clears throat> after the music is over. A quiet audience allows each of you to hear the music we have worked very hard to prepare for this concert. Enjoy our performance. Donkey Round is an American folk song we started in grade five. It is a simple tune in 4-4 time that includes a repeat song. After, ma after mastering this folk song using only five notes, it can then be played as round. This was the longest song we played at the beginning of fifth grade. Our arrangement of Donkey Ran will give you the opportunity to see where we started this school year.
have lessons together. In ensemble lessons, we worked on extra music other than the band arrangements for the concert. The ensemble members would like to share one of those pieces with you. Downtown Blues was written by Australian composer Barry Gott. This piece, similar to Dixie Tubi, introduced us to the 12 measure phrase in music. 12 measure phrases are common for blues songs and are different from the traditional 8 measure phrase in most of our music. This piece also uses a flat third in our scale, which is part of a blues scale.
Williams and John O'Reilly. Mr. Williams and Mr. O'Reilly are the authors of our band method book, Accent on Achievement. This piece has a time signature of 2-4 and added one of our newer pitches. Eagle Summit March includes several of the concepts we have been learning all in one piece. It has internal repeats, first and second endings, slurs and ties. We hope you like Eagle Summit March.
of school. Our spring concert is not the end of our musical journey, but just the beginning. So much more lies ahead at Mams and Madawan Regional High School. No one can be certain of where the journey will take you, but you can be assured that music will be a very important part of your life. Thank you for attending our performance and have a great evening. As I mentioned in the beginning, you definitely didn't let us down. You gave us such a treat. You should all be so proud of yourself. And as was just mentioned, there's so much ahead for you. So we're definitely looking forward to as many of you as possible, continuing on with these talents in the middle school. So thank you again to all of you. And we'd also like to, again, say a special thank you to Mrs. Hughes and Mrs. Munson for putting this together. I would also like to say a special thank you to Mrs. Simon, who's behind the scenes with our PTO for all of the hard work. Mrs. Munson, I just want to thank everybody. Mr. Jarbeck, Mrs. Olsen, for all their support. The PTO has been such a great help. We are so proud of the work that your students have done this year. Can you please give them another round of applause for that? after a while, but it's all in the effort to help support them in their journey, and we really hope that we, when we go back to their concerts in Mams in high school, to continue to see these faces, because they're doing such a great job. We love working with them this year.